السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمد ونسلم ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام صدق الله العظيم Respected elders, brothers, mothers and sisters Ladies and gentlemen, sir, we begin by praising the Almighty Allah, the Creator, all His favors that He has bestowed upon us, and we send salutations upon the messengers of the Almighty and all those who follow them in righteousness and guidance. On the occasion of the launch of a campaign against gender-based violence, and of course you have the statement in front of you which analyzes and speaks about the launch, and I think it cannot be a more better introduction than to speak about the, the hadith and saying of our beloved Nabi Karim Sallallahu which outlines the aspect of our relationship with our spouses and across the board. When he said the most perfect of believers are those who are noble and best in character. And the best amongst you are those who are best to their wives and to their women. And of course, keeping in mind when we speak about gender-based violence, and we always like to emphasize in our discourses with regard to religion, uh, the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have very often been said, uh, let's follow the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, let us follow the example of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After all, it's the best of example, لَكَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ Fi Rasulillahi Uswatun Hasana says Allah in the Holy Quran, in the Prophet of the Almighty, you have the best example of how to conduct not only your relationship in marriage, but your relationship with every sector of community, and you have the perfect example in your entire life that the Prophet never abused anyone and never committed violence against anyone. So the Jamaat al Ulama South Africa and the Islamic Kaline who have been serving the social needs of the community, more specifically in Johannesburg, but of course not only confined to Johannesburg. We take pride in announcing the launch of the program, of this program. And of course this program is also at a time uh, which is when there is a growth and there is a spike with regard to gender-based violence within South African communities, of which the Muslim community is also part of their communities, and also uh, part of this whole situation. And there is no level of society which is free from gender-based violence. And this go across the religious backgrounds, and go across ethnic and race, and it is something that is not only within any specific community, it is across all types of communities, and therefore the need for us to make our voices as part of the greater South African voice in speaking against gender-based violence. And of course this is from the most affluent of homes to the most informal settlements. We are facing a situation that is eating away at the very fabric of our society. There are various reasons with regard to it. Some of the reasons have been given in the fourth paragraph of our statement, which of course people could look at. And perhaps one of the reasons that is also overlooked is perhaps a lack of fear of the Almighty. And that is the reason why uh, I read an ayat of the Holy Quran, which, you know, Mawlana Muhammad I Amin mean, Hajab also read from that particular uh, ayat, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wattaqullah alladhi tasa'aluna bihi wal arham. Fear the Almighty with regard to your relationships. And this is something that the that the Prophet of Almighty Allah constantly called upon us to take the Almighty into account even in the most private of your moments. And therefore in the very celebrated uh, khutbah and the farewell sermon, which of course we all know is a very famous sermon in, in our history, which many a times have been reduced to frames which we find adorning our homes and adorning our offices, if only it could adorn our character, you will find that the Prophet ﷺ specifically referred to the fear of the Almighty Allah in dealing with your wives and your relationship. When he said, Fattakullah fin nisa, fear Allah with regard to your with your wives. And the reason why the fear of the Almighty is such an important factor is that 
Many a times a husband-wife relationship is something that is in the privacy of the home. And a Muslim husband is reminded that even in that particular type of environment, do not feel that I am alone, I can do and say whatever I please irrespective of the consequences upon my partner. The Almighty calls you to account, to account and said, even in the private moments, remember, the Almighty is watching you and as such, uh, fear Allah with regard to how you relate in speech and in action towards your spouses. And of course, we know that when we look at our community, there was a time uh, when the family elders and community leaders used to play a role with regard to any type of difficulty that they used to be in relationship, they used to come to the fore. For some reason, uh, that is no more as prevalent as what it used to be. And nowadays we're living very individual type of li lives. The way the statement goes on to make mention a more nuclear family focus. And we start looking for solutions and for assistance. When this is faced, we go to various situations. And while we acknowledge the role of everyone who has played their role with regard to this, and we like to please and record anyone who has placed and all those who are doing their, you know, their work in whatever way and whatever capacity in terms of uh, dealing with this and other social evils and other social problems, we would like to acknowledge them. But of course, there is also a strain on the services that are provided uh, because of the high workload, lack of resources and other red tape. It is because of this reason that we hope and inshallah that the joint with Jamatul Ulama and uh, the Islamic care line uh, gender-based violence campaign will reach out to those members of the community and other service providers in terms of support and development through various initiatives we intend to capacitate the community and the community service structures in terms of psychosocial assistance and delivery inshallah and the campaign we hope will be a holistic type of campaign having various types of interventions <coughs> that will be implemented on the individual, family, community, and societal level. Uh, and we hope, inshallah, that it will be something that will be sustainable, enduring, will always be there, so that anyone who is faced with this type of violence and any type of problems in this regard can be assured, inshallah, with regard to the support that will be given uh, and will be handed out, and the Jamiat and the Islamic Canaan will be prepared for assistance in this particular regard. We are also hoping that this is a comprehensive campaign that will uh, also, uh, you know, commence in August up till December 2018, which will include both Women's Day and the 16 days of activism, which normally happens uh, towards the end of the year. Normally it happens towards the end of November. And of course, some of the specific objectives which we hope to achieve the above vision, which will be having a positive perception with regard to uh, relationships between genders. We hope that through the means of our campaign we will be able to bring about, obviously, the relationship between the genders are a reality of life, of course, we all know that, and it is something that we um, celebrate as part of the Sunnah. Nabi Karim Sallallahu had said in Nikahum in Sunnati, it is part of our Sunnah. Now, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has given it the blessings. Now, we are, it is a reality. What we are looking at is that those particular type of relationships which have been so highly recommended in our Sharia, it is something that uh, it will be done uh, in, a, in a positive way and we will have a better positive interaction between the genders. Encouraging ownership and responsibility for personal safety and preservation. And I really appreciate that particular objective because uh, many a times uh, while we will be able to provide the certain services and of course it is well known and that's why we're putting ourselves uh, up and launching this campaign. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we are not a law enforcement type of agency and therefore we are calling upon and part of the campaign is to encourage ownership and responsibility for personal safety and preservation, upscaling and enhancing existing psychosocial and other support services to ensure that there is holistic healing with regard to uh, survivors and those who are in this type of relationship empower and mobilize the community to effectively address uh, gender-based violence then of course towards the end uh, you know it does make mention that this uh, campaign will utilize a variety of approaches to appeal to various sectors of the community and society uh, and some of those particular type of uh, approaches have been 
mentioned in the press uh, statement. Uh, we also have campaign ambassadors. Alhamdulillah, the following individuals have graciously accepted the role and responsibility of this voluntary position. Lusha Tayyab, Farhana Ismail, Abu Bakr Sadela, Zahira Karim, and of course, I don't see any Alim's name, so maybe I can add my name if it is felt uh, appropriate. So inshallah, there will be future events that also will be taking place, and we hope that inshallah this particular campaign uh, will be launched in such a way that will really address the issue at hand. Alhamdulillah, we have many types of, you know, sometimes statements, sometimes campaigns, many times we have Jumma Bayans, but uh, the fact that uh, the Jamiat and the Islamic calendar have felt it uh, important enough to have a press uh, statement and a press uh, release and a press event for this shows the importance that it is given to the situation and I feel and I'm confident inshallah that uh, this would be something that will have positive uh, ramifications and repercussions upon our entire society. I will conclude with these words and make dua that inshallah the intention for which this initiative has been launched, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted barakah, blessings, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala crowned it uh, with acceptance and success. Jazakumullah wa akhirun da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alayhi wa sallam.